Hello, everyone. Do you know the problem of many of us? Our problem is, or should I say, one of our problems may be, we look at people too much and you may say to me, Kevin, what do you mean by that? If someone of high rank in a church does a wrong thing, we may lose faith in God because of that pastor, because of that bishop, because of that um, minister, uh, missionary, evangelist, uh, what else, prophet. Like if we see those people fall into sin, or let's say they, they are a hypocrite. Let's say we find out they don't live based upon the way they teach. The problem of many of us, we may lose faith in Jesus Christ and not serve him. And that should not be at all. That really should not be. So if a pastor is going to hell, if a bishop is going to hell, if other high-ranking church officials are going to hell, are you going to hell too because you have to follow along? So Jesus is false if you find out a church pastor is a liar or commits adultery or steals or do bad things. So based upon how their relationship, so based upon how their relationship is with God, does it determine whether you should live for God or not? I hope this is really making sense. Even if everyone around you are hypocrites, even if they say they serve God, but don't, does that mean you should stop serving God because of all of those hypocrites, because of all of those wrongdoers? Please listen to what I am saying. That makes no sense. So because of, let me name a random name, a made up name. So because of Bishop, John, random name. So if you find out Bishop John is a liar, manipulator, or whatever else, does that mean you should give up on God because that bishop is a wrongdoer? Does that mean you should give up on God? Maybe at one point you looked up to Bishop John. Maybe because of him, you wanted to serve God. So if you see him do wrong, does that mean you should give up? <sighs> does this mean you should give up on Jesus Christ because of Bishop John? Are you living for God? Oh. Are you living for God through Bishop John? You should not. 
So Jesus Christ is bad or false because Bishop John is a wrongdoer? You saw this false prophet. You went to a church with a bad pastor. Because you are finding out so many Christians or so-called Christians, I should say, are hypocrites. Does that make living for Jesus Christ wrong? Stop looking at people. That is your problem. That may be our problem. Stop looking at people. Even if everyone around you fall away from Jesus Christ, don't be the same as they. It doesn't matter. If you find out that this pastor is false, this prophet is false, this evangelist is false, that person is a witch, and that person is a warlock, and that continue living for Jesus Christ anyway. Continue doing what is right anyway I really hope this is making sense if you are doing this if you are living uh, for God through a person don't do that live for Jesus Christ for yourself I really hope this is making sense. Live for Jesus Christ for yourself. You don't need this person. Now, let me say this. It is okay to ask for help because at times I ask for help too. Don't be, don't get to the point to where you aren't willing to read the Bible unless you have someone to read the Bible for you or with you. Or to where you aren't willing to pray unless you have someone to pray for you or with you. Stop living for God through another person. Live for God for yourself like a a one-on-one -on -one thing stop looking at people then being discouraged if you find out that person does this wrong or does that wrong who cares pray for them and keep on moving forward that should not trip you up into giving up on Jesus Christ. I really hope this is making sense. Let me stop here though. May God bless us.